And as you can see, the thigh can be divided into the anterior compartment and posterior compartment and the hip adductors. And the first muscle we want to talk about in the muscles of the anterior compartment of the thigh is a large four-headed muscle known as the quadriceps femoris. You can see it highlighted on our image and we talked about it earlier in the introduction to this tutorial. So as you can see, it's a very large muscle and it makes up the bulk of the anterior thigh almost completely covering the femur, and it's one of the strongest muscles of the human body. You probably have heard of it when we talk about the quads or quadriceps in running, or when you do the stretch where you bend your knee and hold your foot against your buttocks. That's the big muscle that we're stretching at the front of the leg just here. So the quadriceps femoris muscle, as indicated by its name, has four muscles, and these are the rectus femoris muscle, the vastus medialis muscle, the vastus intermedius muscle, and the vastus lateralis muscle. We're not going to talk through each of these. Instead, we're going to talk about the quadriceps femoris muscle's function as a whole. And we should note that quadriceps femoris is important as it's the only extensor of the knee joint. And another function of the quadriceps femoris is to facilitate hip flexion. The other muscle of the anterior thigh is the sartorius muscle. And as you can see, it's a long, thin, superficially running muscle. And in this image, we can see the sartorius muscle isolated and the hip flexed and the knee extended so that we can see some of its functions a little bit more clearly. So at the hip joint, the sartorius muscle facilitates flexion, abduction and external rotation, while at the knee joint, the muscle facilitates flexion and internal rotation. Let's now look at the posterior thigh muscles. Now, the main muscle of the posterior thigh, again, you might have heard of through if you run or if you exercise, there's a major group of muscles called the hamstring muscles. And there are three of these, the biceps femoris, which you can see dotted out in blue just here, the semimembranosus, and the semitendinosus muscle. And let's talk about each of these individually. And as we mentioned, the first one of these is called the biceps femoris muscle. And the biceps femoris, as you can tell by the name, is a two-headed muscle. And the biceps femoris has a long head and a short head. So we're just going to bring in this other image where we can see the left thigh from a lateral view. And the biceps femoris, of course, is highlighted in green. So that means that our anterior is over here and our posterior is over here on the right. We're looking at this image because we can see that at the hip joint, the long head of the biceps femoris muscle extends the hip and helps to stabilize the pelvis in the sagittal plane. Whereas at the knee joint, the entire muscle facilitates flexion and external rotation. Now let's have a look at our second hamstring muscle. And the second hamstring muscle is the semimembranosus, so-called because it has a flat membranous shape. And the muscle is located medially in the posterior compartment of the thigh, as you can see in the image. So let's come back to our lateral view of the pelvis and the thigh, where we can see the semimembranosus muscle highlighted in green. And the semimembranosus muscle extends the hip and stabilizes the pelvis in the sagittal plane. In addition, it also facilitates flexion and internal rotation at the knee joint. Okay, coming back to our base image of the thigh from the posterior view, we can see the semitendinosus muscle highlighted in green, which is our last muscle of the hamstrings. And the semitendinosus muscle extends the thigh and stabilizes the pelvis in the sagittal plane, as well as facilitating flexion and internal rotation of the knee joint. All right, let's move on now to the hip adductors. And the hip adductor muscles are part of the musculature of the inner thigh. And the first of these muscles that we're going to be talking about is called the pectineus muscle, which we can see just here on our right. And you can see from the image that it's a flat muscle and it helps to stabilize the pelvis in a coronal plane as well as the sagittal plane. And this muscle also facilitates the adduction the external rotation and slight flexion of the hip joint when it contracts. Let's move on now to the adductor magnus muscle. And as you can tell from the name, magnus, it's a very large muscle and is in fact one of the largest muscles in the human body. The adductor magnus muscle facilitates adduction, external rotation and the extension of the hip joint. And it also helps to stabilize the pelvis in the coronal plane. 
The adductor longus muscle is also a relatively large muscle, as you can see on the image on the right. And this muscle facilitates both adduction and flexion of the hip joint, as well as stabilizing the pelvis in both the sagittal and coronal planes. So lying deep to the adductor longus muscle is the short adductor brevis muscle. And you can, of course, see that on our right highlighted in green. And contraction of this muscle facilitates the adduction and flexion of the hip joint. And it also helps stabilize the pelvis in the coronal and sagittal planes. Let's move on now to another muscle that's located in a leg region and is also considered a hip adductor muscle. And this muscle that you can see on the right in green is the gracilis muscle. And the gracilis muscle is the most superficial and most medial muscle of this group. And it facilitates the adduction and flexion at the hip joint. In addition to that, it also facilitates flexion and internal rotation at the knee joint. If you found this quick anatomy video helpful, you'll enjoy our video tutorials even more. Click on the button and you'll see what I mean. We have hundreds of videos available to our premium members, not to mention all the fun quizzes, related articles and atlas sections to solidify your knowledge. Click on the button in the middle to watch the full-length video and master anatomy.